Hi, Katie here with your Galco TV industry update. This week, we're talking about Honda's prototype disaster relief robot, Federal Signal's acquisition of TBEI, and Delta's new industrial automation products. Honda has unveiled a prototype robot intended for disaster relief efforts named E2DR at the International Conference on Intelligent Robots and Systems in Vancouver. Its latest paper called Development of Experimental Legged Robot for Inspection and Disaster Response in Plants details how the robot prototype is designed to be flexible, strong, and waterproof. The robot is able to rotate its torso 180 degrees and its hands can grip, allowing it to climb up stairs. Honda envisions this robot working with wireless tools so the dexterity of the robotic hands will not be much of a factor. The robot can walk at 2 kilometers per hour, step over a 200 millimeter pipe, walk on debris, walk through 26 millimeters per hour of rain for 20 minutes, and climb up and down a vertical ladder. Now the robot stands at five and a half feet tall and weighs 187 pounds. It is only 9.8 inches thick, allowing it to pass through small gaps of 11.8 inches or wider. Honda was able to minimize the size of this robot by swapping out standard communication cables for optical fiber ones. It can operate in temperatures ranging from 14 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit and has an internal cooling system to stop it from overheating. Its 1000 watt hour battery allows it to operate for a full 90 minutes per charge. The robot's head contains two laser rangefinders, several cameras, and an infrared light projector. The hands also contain 2D and 3D cameras. There is a lot of cool tech built into this robot, but Honda has said that the E2DR is just a prototype at the moment and still requires a lot of work and testing to be done before it can be considered usable in the wild. They have already worked on the robot for several years, though they currently have no announcement regarding a final model release. Federal Signal has announced that it completed its acquisition of Truck Bodies and Equipment International. TBEI is a leading U.S. manufacturer of dump truck bodies and trailers. The acquisition cost $270 million. TBEI represents a portfolio of six established brands, which occupy leading market share positions in their respective product categories. They have developed a sustained competitive advantage through a combination of an intense focus on operational excellence, a comprehensive distribution strategy, and continuous attention to its customers' primary requirements for a high-quality product and short lead times. On the acquisition, Federal Signal stated that their product offerings will allow us to further diversify into higher growth, maintenance and infrastructure markets while balancing the mix of revenue streams between municipal and industrial and reduce our exposure to oil and gas. This acquisition represents a strong strategic fit for Federal Signal and will enhance our ability to achieve sustainable and profitable growth. Founded in 1901, Federal Signal is a leading global designer, manufacturer, and supplier of products and total solutions that serve municipal, governmental, industrial, and commercial customers. Headquartered in Oak Brook, Illinois, with manufacturing facilities worldwide, the company operates two groups, environmental solutions and safety and security systems. Delta presented a comprehensive portfolio of industrial automation products and solutions at the PAC Expo 2017 from September 25th through the 27th at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Delta's booth attracted many visitors with their latest products that enhance machine efficiency, including the hot swappable mid-range PLC AH500 series and the high-performance compact drive MH300 series with EtherCAT. 
Delta also launched three new platforms, Via Cloud, Cloud Platform, EtherCAT Machine Control Network Platform, and Ethernet IP Information Connectivity Network Platform to help machine builders design leaner solutions and reduce overall costs. That is it for this week's industry update. Make sure you tune in next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.